Let's go exploring with Daniel Cook, right here on the Veritable Quandary. Here we are! <laughs> this is Daniel Cook learning about poetry. Hi, I'm here with Loris, and today she's going to teach me about poetry. Hi, I think that's a good idea. This is Daniel Cook on a bike, in a plane, on a farm, playing games with many places and friendly faces. We'll have lots of fun with Daniel Cook. Now, would you like to hear one of my poems? Okay. What's your favorite type of poem? Rhyming and funny. What's your favorite? Hmm. I like the funny ones, too. Do you want to come over here with me? Okay. Do you want to hear anything from this book? Mm. Why don't you pick something? Monkeys on Monday. We're monkeys on Monday, toads on Tuesday, wiggle worms on Wednesday, round then flat, birds on Thursday, elephants Friday. The teacher says we're just like that, like that. What other animals could I have done there? Mm. Eels. Mm. Crocodiles? Crocodiles on Saturday, and then what on Sunday? Snakes. Okay, crocodiles on Sunday, crocodiles on Saturday, snakes on Sunday. That would be pretty good. I was thinking of one, one about snakes making something. Snakes make, a poem about snakes making something? Yeah, How about snakes makes. Snakes make spaghetti. Snakes make, what else? I know, snakes make, make salami. Okay, <laughs> snakes make spaghetti, snakes make salami. Okay, what else? Snakes make cake. Yeah, that's good, I like that. Okay, snakes Snake make, make cake. Cakes. What, what color would snake cake be? Maybe green. Yeah, and would it have stripes on it? Yeah. That would be beautiful. And what would the shape of it be? A snake. Like a, a snake cake. Oh, I think yeah. that's a great idea. Okay, we make a big snake cake, and then snakes you know, make a big snake cake. And you know how on birthday cakes they say "Happy Birthday"? Yeah. What we could do is write the poem on the cake, so the oh, poem could yeah. be written on the cake. And the, how long would it be? Do you think? Mm, probably maybe this big. Okay, this big. And would it be curvy or straight? The snakes make. Snakes make. A big birth, a big snake cake. That's hard to say, you know. Yeah. Snakes make a big snake cake. Yeah. What do other snakes like to bake? Hey, I know. What? The king cobra has has his knights. The the king, king cobra? Yeah, it's, it's, it's a snake called a king cobra. Yeah, king? yeah. Yeah, yeah. Kings have knights. Okay, so the king Get cobra it? has his knights. I like that poem. I think I'm going to have to draw that. Do you want to go draw it? Okay. This is Daniel Cook drawing a snake poem. Snake cake. You can do the rest of it. Red? Where are you going to put the head? This is a snake cake. Okay. Now, should this cake have sprinkles on it? Sure. Okay. That's the cake there. Does it have any birthday candles in it? Mm. Hey, if we're gonna put the candles on it, mm -hmm. snake candles. Okay, what else could we have in Snakes Makes Cakes? With lots of flakes? Oh. Yeah. Okay, how about... Snakes make cakes lots of flakes. Okay, what else? Okay, that's good. I like that. Chocolate flakes. Oh, good. Okay. That was good, Daniel. Snakes make cakes with chocolate flakes? Yep. Snakes. Whoops. Okay, I like that. What else rhymes with snake and cake? Shake. With chocolate flakes. And the king cobra takes eats the cake. And the king 
Cobra takes. How about takes all the, the cake? cake? Takes all the cakes. Takes. Should we put all in capital letters? Like that. Okay. Yeah. All. And the reason he can take them all is because he's the biggest, right? Yeah, and he's the king. Okay, so you read that. Let's see how it sounds. Snakes make cakes with lots of chocolate flakes, and the king cobra takes all the cakes. That sounds really good. That's how you can tell if a poem sounds good. Snakes make cakes with lots of chocolate flakes, and the king cobra takes all the cakes. Thank you, Boris, for teaching me about poetry. It was fun. Yeah, it was fun. <laughs> This episode is over, but the very best of my collection is banned on YouTube. To see what you have been missing, go to archive.org and search for Gyro Screw Loose, and I'll see you there.